talk about the weather because we know you had today off and then there's tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. So Pamela, yes, I hope we got some good weather going here. Yeah, overall pretty quiet across the country for this travel week forecast. And as we ho head into Friday, high pressure remains in control across the eastern half and the central part of the U.S. A little bit of rain moving across the Great Lakes as an area of low pressure dips into the northern U.S. But the Pacific Northwest, that's interesting. We have another cold front moving through, producing some heavy rain and also some heavy snow across the Cascades and the ele higher elevations of the Rockies. Otherwise, we're mostly quiet. And this Thanksgiving here in Boston, it didn't set any records. It wasn't one of the extreme years. The warmest on record back in 1941 was 71 degrees. The coldest, 1873, with 11 degrees for the low. The wettest, over two and a half inches of rain fell back in 71. And in 89, we had almost four and a half inches of snow. No snow in the forecast the next several days. In fact, we're going to track a slight warming trend for the rest of this weekend. And today we hit a high of 43 degrees. There was a chill to the air, slightly below normal, that average high being 49 degrees, but it was decent with the sunshine. Now that the sun has set, temperatures have cooled off a little bit. We're down into the upper 20s from Taunton to Falmouth, 38 degrees in Boston, slightly warmer here thanks to the urban heat island effect, 33 degrees in Manchester and 30 degrees in Worcester. A few clouds did roll in over the last few hours and those few clouds are helping to trap in a little bit of the heat we had from the afternoon. So temperatures won't fall too, too much more across some of the suburbs. Perhaps a little bit of clearing once we get into tomorrow morning as we hit those ultimate lows right around freezing or just a touch below. Tomorrow afternoon, slightly warmer, right around 50 degrees with a little bit of a south-southwest wind helping to push us to 50 degrees in Boston. A decent warm up there. 50 in Plymouth, 48 degrees Hyannis, and 48 degrees on Nantucket. Maybe you're hitting the slopes this weekend. Why not? It's going to be fantastic. Nice and dry for Friday, 42 degrees. Saturday, there's a chance for a cold front moving in, bringing us first some rain, transitioning to snow showers early Sunday morning. Temperatures go from the 40s Saturday back down to 31 degrees on Sunday, more seasonable, and the snow guns will be working once again for the tail half of the weekend. But there's that area of high pressure centered to our south. Our next area of low pressure moves in slowly once we get into Saturday. And we're watching this coastal storm just offshore Saturday morning as well. That looks to stay well out to sea, so we'll be affected by this cold front moving through Saturday night into early Sunday, bringing us the chance for some isolated showers. Most of us will stay dry. You may be wondering, where's the snow? We're waiting for it. We're, we're ready for it, but the snow won't get here in Boston. And especially across southern New England, we stay too warm and not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. However, northern New England, that's where you could see a little bit of snow, maybe a brief dusting up to an inch across the higher elevations through the weekend. And Lake Effect snow machine turns on Sunday around Syracuse if you happen to be traveling. Here's your seven day. There it is, 57 degrees on Saturday. Then we go down to 42 on Sunday for the Patriots game. Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday, another brief warm up. Katie? All right, thanks.